Mitchell Kovernick, followed by Kovas Applegren, and then Jean Fahey. Good morning. Uh, Mitchell Kovernick, 5001 South Shore Drive. Uh, I hate following her. <laughs> um, you need on to get May 23rd, I, <laughs> well, um, I sent an email to the county commissioners on May 23rd regarding the Gulf Harbors golf course, and I want to read an excerpt from that email. Uh, I quote, there has been a lot of information made public since the MSBU was passed in September 2016, and the general public is much better informed now. Since so much has happened since then, including the discovery of the contamination on the golf course, I wonder if the majority of the BOCC still favors the county going forward with this purchase. I would therefore like to challenge any one of you to have the fortitude to bring a motion to the board to repeal Ordinance 1625 and Resolution 16295 that were passed to form and fund the MSBU. A vote of confidence is appropriate now since the climate may have changed and the majority of the BOCC may actually not be in favor anymore of continuing on this path. At the very least, what have you got to lose if you want to reaffirm the BOC's continued support of this project? Yes or no, the public has a right to know where you all stand now. For the record, I never got a response to that email. Now, it may be that there was no response because you've been advised by the county attorney not to comment on an ongoing lawsuit, and that's fine. I'm not looking for a comment. I was looking for one of you to stand up and bring this to a vote. I spoke before this board last month on a Tuesday. Uh, at that time, I pointed out how the county had represented in writing on several occasions that the residents had to vote in favor of the MSBU or it would not be created. I then pointed out that in documents filed in court, the county attorney took an opposite position stating that the vote did not count at all. The next day, on Wednesday, I sent that email that I just quoted from to the commissioners. That Friday, less than 48 hours later, the county attorney demanded to take my deposition in that lawsuit. Now let me remind you, I'm not a party to that lawsuit. My wife is. So it will not be for me to decide if this is really just a strange coincidence or is it retaliation for my speaking out. If it is just harassment, are these the tactics the county is willing to use to win this lawsuit at all costs so it can go ahead and buy the golf course even if the residents don't want it? And as the ultimate representatives of the county, do all of you commissioners condone these kind of actions? Each one of you has the opportunity to speak out and call for a vote to put an end to this, but your individual silence will speak volumes. Thank you very Mr. much. Governor.